the way to the hairdressers, it's Wednesday. I've just filmed the Marks and Spencers uh, vlog. I'll try and get it up tomorrow or later. To I don't think it'll be today, it'll probably be tomorrow. I'm not going to vlog at the hairdressers because I did it last time and it'd be boring doing it again. But I will let you say hello to Stephen, my hairdresser. Um, he's such a good hairdresser, you know, and he's trying to build up his uh, Instagram. Uh, so, if you want to subscribe to his Instagram, I'd be really grateful. <laughs> I'll put the details in the description box. I'll probably across the screen when I um, when I see him. It's a bit annoying, really, because the car park that I normally go on, you can only park for three hours, and it's three hours it's free parking, which is really good. Um, but it takes just over three hours, and I can't risk getting a parking ticket because you would do. So I have to go on this 24-hour one and pay for 24 hours, which is annoying. But I just want to post, as I get into Poulton, I'm just going to pull in the other car park if I can get a space. Because I want to post off, you know, the Just Spices uh, winner. I've got her parcel here, Carol, who won it. Um, so I just want to post it off to her. I was hoping to post it yesterday, but I didn't get a chance to go to the post office. I just hope there's not a massive queue. There looks to be some dark clouds over there. I've got all my garden furniture out as well. It's not covered up. I hope it doesn't rain. It's a problem, isn't it, with garden furniture? It's lovely, but what do you do with all the cushions, you know, in the winter and when it rains? I have got a cover which blows off a lot of the time. And I'm on my third cover. They don't last very long and they cost quite a bit. But it is lovely having the furniture out there. I think lots of us bought it during COVID, you know, when you could sit out with your family. Actually, you know, it was horrible COVID, it really was. But there was lots of good times like that where you sat outside with your family um, that you perhaps wouldn't do as much nowadays. Just managed to get a space here, that's good. I'll just dash in the post office now. Right, I've just got to the other car park um, where I'm going to leave my car. I'm just going to go and get my ticket. <laughs> oh, do you know, um, near the post office, there was a, a poor, um, well, I don't know who was homeless. He looked homeless man sat down there begging, which you don't often see in Poulton, although we do have a, a lady that comes. She's a big issue seller. She's often there. Um, and I just felt so sorry for him. I thought, you know, we're so lucky, aren't we? Um, I, I mean, I asked him where he came from and he said he came from Romania. And I thought it's such a shame, isn't it? We're so lucky in, in this country, really. I know we've got hard times and that, but there's people much worse than us. Anyway, over with for now. Stephen, to all my viewers. Hi guys, mm. you okay? <laughs> Stephen's going to post a video shortly on bridal hair, so follow him on Instagram. I'll put the link in the description box. Okay, bye Stephen. Bye. <laughs> it is Wednesday evening now and we've gone bowling. Uh, we're bowling at Pilling, uh, which is overwiring quite a way away. Uh, I just thought I'd show you this church, which is right next to the bowling green. It's absolutely beautiful. I did cry, try um, and capture, but unsuccessfully. Uh, you can see the windows at the top of the church. I don't know if you call it the belfry or what. There was birds flying in and out all the time. It was fascinating. I think there were rooks. Um, there was lots and lots of them, but unfortunately I couldn't capture it. It was a lovely evening. Um, the thing was, it, the sun was so hot, but actually the wind was so cold. So if you was in the sun, it was gorgeous. 
But as soon as you're out of the sun, it was freezing, you needed your coat on. It, it was a weird, oh, can you see, there's a bird, can you see? I did try and capture them. They were flying in and out all the time. Uh, there must be lots that live in there. It's a beautiful, beautiful setting. It is a private bowling green where ours is um, run by the, well, I'm saying run, we run it, but uh, it, it's owned by the council. Um, but theirs is absolutely beautiful. Um, it was a real pleasure bowling. Look at the lovely evening sun on the church. It was so stunning. It was such a lovely evening, apart from the cold, chilly wind. I'd gone with a friend because um, I need I, I um I still need to get my car sorted, uh, but with it being the bank holiday, I'm going to take it in again next week. Look at those black clouds. Can you see them overhead? But funnily enough, it didn't rain or anything. It was weird weather. Thursday now and I've just popped into our local garden centre. I needed some potting compost um, but I just thought I'd show you the beautiful hanging baskets. Um, there was all sorts of things. It was absolutely lovely. Uh, I suppose it's a good time of year to go to the garden centres. There were some lovely plants. Look at these beautiful hydrangeas. They were absolutely stunning. Lots of them in full flower. Really nice. Lots of lovely different colours. I love going round the garden centre. All different colours. Just look at them. And there's lavender over there. This garden centre is called the Plant Place. Um, and it, it's at Thornton Cleveley's, really. Um, some lupins over there. I quite fancy some lupins. I'm quite excited because next week my daughter's going to take me down to David Austin Roses, which is near Wolverhampton. So I'll try and vlog that for you. Look at those lupins, aren't they lovely? I think they were twelve ninety nine each. I don't know how that is for prices. The ones I've got in my garden, I think I grew from seed. All sorts of lovely plants. Really lovely. Of course, it. Well, it's now Saturday morning, and my daughter and son in law uh, telephoned me to say, Did I want to go out for breakfast? So we've come up to Scorton, um, which is a lovely little area. I think I've taken you there before. This is called the Barn at Scorton. Um, it's a lovely place to go for a meal and they also have a garden centre. You're going to be garden centred out this week, I think. <laughs> but um, we're, we're actually um, filming this from, well, I was filming it from actually in um, in the outside seating area where we'd gone for something to eat, a lovely breakfast we had. Um, and we'd taken, well, Hayley had taken Mabel with her. Um, so... You can see this is the outside seating area and you can bring dogs out here. There's Mabel. Eyeing up um, a daddy's breakfast. <laughs> She was very good, actually. This was my breakfast. It was gorgeous. It was smashed avocado um, with sun-dried tomatoes and poached eggs on sourdough bread. One of my favourites. Here we are looking across at all the plants as well. It's such a beautiful setting. You know, it's nestled um, in the hills. It's beautiful. And the fells. Now this is inside. It's so pretty. It's very big actually. Look how nice it is. You know, you can eat in here. But obviously you can't when you've got dogs. But it's such a beautiful setting. It's called the barn. You can see why, can't you? 
I think originally it was an old barn that they converted. Now I'm just going to show you some of the desserts. Now this was kill. I'm not got a sweet tooth, and of course we're sugar free this week on the diet. Um, and but look at these desserts, aren't they stunning? Absolutely gorgeous. Are you jealous? <laughs> Could you just eat one? Of course, lots of people, you can buy them to take away. That was my husband's favourite in the right-hand corner, which was, um, oh, what were they called? I can't think now. Oh, Coffee Wenoir, that was it. Personally, myself, of all those cakes, I would have liked a vanilla slice. I'm not really a big sweet eater, but I would have eaten one normally. But I didn't, I resisted. Actually, it was so full after my breakfast, it was beautiful. Oh, Biscoff Kinder Cookie Pie. Absolutely lovely. I did a, I, I photographed that bee for Busy Bee Marie. I keep thinking I'll photograph bees for her. Scones. You can look, can't you? No calories in looking. Sort of every cake you could think of. But so many people take them home as well, you see. Oh, I've come back again. I must have loved those cakes. This is in the fields. We, we'd sat there a bit lower down looking for a, uh, we'd had a coffee. Um, that's sort of a, a metal construction, but I don't know that you can see there were some alpacas in the field. Um, I'm not sure whether you look, it's so beautiful. Such a lovely setting. Um, I don't think you can see the alpacas. It, you may see them in a bit. Oh, they're in the distance there. I don't think you can. I think I did try and zoom in on them. There you are. Oh, we're now back in the car and we're on our way to Barton Grange Garden Centre. This is a really large garden centre near Preston. It's absolutely beautiful and it's lovely for a day out with the family. They've got this um, area called the Flower Bowl, um, which has, um, it has like um, crazy golf, a cinema, um, curling, all sorts of things. Um, then there's like pro golf shots and uh, football. There's all sorts of things there. It's good for a day out if you've got children. Um, so that's on one side and then the garden centre's on the other and it, it actually is on the banks of the Lancaster Canal. So it's really nice place to visit. So we're just um, traveling along in a little bit. I didn't know about time lapse on my camera. I'm a bit rubbish with it. And my son-in-law was telling me how to do time lapse. So you'll see that in a bit. I actually thought time lapse was time delay. So I've got a bit mixed up. I need to sort of watch a video on how to use this camera on this phone. Um, we're just going over the bridge now. Um, it's a beautiful little bridge, this. <laughs> I always think it's really quaint. So you'll just start to see it before long speed up a bit. I think this might be it. Yes, this is my first attempt at time lapse. <laughs> it's a little bit fast. I don't know what, how, how fast I had it going. 
Right, here we are at Barton Grange Garden Centre. Uh, it's a lovely garden centre, as I say. We're in the garden centre bit. I've, uh, my editing's not been very good here. I've got things a bit out of order, uh, but you'll just have to bear with me. Um, there's some really nice things. Now, this was um, a, an owl sanctuary. It's like um, an owl. Is it an owl and hawk? Um, it's actually a rescue centre. Uh, so don't be alarmed that they're tied up or anything because a lot of them have been in like road traffic accidents or people have had them, um, looked after them and then uh, have died or something. I was asking them about them. It's a charity. Um, and so they got a display there and you could, you could hold one for £2. We're now in the cook shop. It's a lovely cook shop. There's all sorts of different um, unusual things in there. Lots of lovely pottery. Look at all this lovely lemon uh, pottery, like kitchenware. It's absolutely gorgeous, it is. Very summery and spring-like. And then the glasses. I thought these were nice glasses, like a ridge glass for in the garden. They were plastic. There are some lovely items, lovely gifts as well. This was all the Emma Bridgewater. They had quite a lot of Emma Bridgewater. Because I said to my daughter, that's very much like Emma Bridgewater. And she said, that's probably because it is. <laughs> Look at these beautiful plates. Nineteen sixties, seventies. Some very unusual things. These are all the table mats, different table mats.
air fryers. I meant to go back and buy a new washing up bowl, but I forgot. Look at all the different smeg um, colours, some beautiful ones. I love the mint green and the pale blue. They're so expensive though, aren't they? I think it was about £134 for a toaster. And it was only like a two-slice toaster. Here we are outside the garden centre. I think I've gone backwards here because this looks like when we first went in. We're back in with the uh, birds, with the owls and the hawks. Some beautiful ones. As I say, this is a charity. These are all rescued birds. They, all, they don't look real, do they? They are, though. They're beautiful, they're really well behaved as well. Here I am being brave. <laughs> I wouldn't have done this at one time. I don't know what's happened to me in my old age. But do you know it was beautiful? Beautiful owl. It was called Charlie. His claws were so big, but it was so gentle. He liked being stroked on his chest. <laughs> and this was cute. This was um a, a toy dog in a basket, but it moved. I thought that would be, well, in his light bed, it was lovely. It was called Barney. This is another bee for Busy Bee Marie. Thought I'd see how many bees I could find her. Then this is sort of coming towards the outside area of the garden centre. There is also a lovely, there's a lovely, like a cafe and then a, a proper restaurant. 
left. He could have a full day out here. The lupins again. Beautiful. It made me want to put some more lupins in my garden. Rhododendrons. There are lots of uh, wild rhododendrons in the area up at Scorton. We should have had to drive round and shown you some, really. This is nice with the white flowers on. I used to have one in my garden, but it seems to have died off now. Some more plant pots with bees on. And this is coming towards the end of the vlog. So I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, please subscribe. Um, it doesn't cost anything and it helps me out.